I've got eyes on the target. Taking the shot. <laughs> Greetings audience, I'm Boomstick, and uh, today we're going to be talking about the Indra by Captain Slug. The Indra is a bolt action springer that takes full length mags. I've obviously got a worker adapter in it because I use half darts. It utilizes the aluminum U channels you see in like on the caliber and U and whatnot. And this is meant to give people the sniper experience. Now, obviously I need a scope and a bipod on mine, which it's on the way, but I want to get the video out and it was taking too long. So we're going without for this one. The blaster works by raising the bolt, bringing it back, getting it to catch, which is the tricky part. <laughs> Sliding forward, sliding down and you're ready to fire. Now for this blaster, I bought the hardware, printed it myself, assembled it myself and uh, yeah, that was a that was a fun process. Me and my friend Gyroscope, well, I'll have a link down in the description. I've both been working on our Indras over the weekend trying to get them functioning because there were quite a few issues we ran into. The first big issue was obviously that the catch wasn't working so Captain Slug actually designed a new one over the weekend so I've got the current plunger which does work most of the time. Uh, the catch is held on with elastic which that works fine. The trigger is using the elastic as well which also works fine. Uh, for me one of the big issues especially for a sniper rifle is this front barrel. I'll try to get a better shot of that, but like, this is insanely wobbly. Like that, that's a big problem for me. Now, what I'm hoping to do is attach my scope right here, which will help give it a little bit more rigidity, but like, that's really bad. I will say I do like the new thread O-ring options that he has for the barrel for both holding on his muzzle and for holding the, helping to hold the barrel plates in here along with the two nuts, one in the front and one in the back. The other issue I ran into is as you can see, these bolts right here, how they're kind of ugly, that's because I added these. What I really want to do is redesign this part to have the nuts inside here because this front barrel was originally held in with pins. And they didn't stay in. Like, my pins were constantly falling out. They were way too loose. And that was very problematic for me. I do also find that when I'm holding this, instead of shouldering it on my right shoulder, I tend to find it's easier to fire if you're centering it in with your chest. Because then you kind of brace it, pull back, slide forward. I will also say that the prime being uncomfortable is just a side effect of it being bolt action. This feature, which people have been asking Slug for for a long time, is just inherently bad for a spring system. Like, you could do this with HPA and have no problem, but having to get the spring off of this bolt here, it's just not comfortable. It's just not. I tried switching out to K25 to make it a lighter prime, but then the bolt kept trying to exit out the side of the K25, making it impossible to prime. I also had issues with the plunger sliding off. I know Jero actually glued his plunger to his bolt to keep it from sliding off. I wrapped mine in a bunch of Teflon tape to give it a nice tight seal. Uh, but yeah, that was problematic because the entire plunger system slides back when you prime it. So what was happening is you would slide the bolt forward and the plunger would still be way back here because it had slid off. So you're gonna to wanna to either do a gyroscope did and glue it to the bolt or do what I did and wrap Teflon tape around it until it's really tight. So you've heard me complain about it a lot. Let's, let's go uh, watch it fire. That's the fun part.
when putting this over the chronograph, I got it right around the 190s to 200 FPS, which is what you'd expect from a Caliburn-esque blaster. It fires straight enough. I'm using an Accuratio scar bail on my Indra. Now, I've complained a lot about this blaster, and the question is, what do I think about it overall? I think it's fun. I think it's a neat idea. I think the impracticalities of a bolt action blaster really kind of ruin any chance of this being a useful blaster. I mean, you can use it. It's a slower caliber, pretty much. A slower, less comfortable caliber. So if you really want that bolt action aesthetic, be prepared to do a lot of tuning and fixing and adjusting. Because I hate for this video to be so negative, but like, we were, me and Joe Scope, who've been talking over the weekend, we had such a hard time getting our blasters to work properly and effectively. And I still have issues with the catch slipping every now and again. It's, and I feel bad because everyone's been asking Slug for bolt action. And he gave it to them. But the problems with bolt action, I think, are just too great for a Springer-based blaster. If you want bolt action, go HPA. That's the way to go. So, unfortunately, this is going to be, I think, the first blaster I've done on my channel where I honestly don't recommend picking one up. Unless you really want that bolt action Caliburn, I say just grab yourself a Caliburn, Talon Claw, something else. Just This blaster is not worth the time, unfortunately. Anyways, those are my thoughts. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you would like to order yourself hardware or a completed blaster from Slug, I'll have that link down in the description. I also want to say that Slug is an amazing creator in this hobby. Despite my complaints about the Indra, I have nothing but respect for Slug. He has some fantastic designs. I still run my Talon Claw U bullpup. It is amazing. So do not let my thoughts about the Indra affect your opinion on Slug, who I think is a fantastic creator in his hobby and should definitely be supported. Anyways, those are my thoughts. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you'd like to help support the channel, feel free to check out my Teespring or you can uh, join my Patreon and be one of these lovely people here. And if you don't want to do that, you can always support the channel by hitting that like, hitting subscribe, tapping that bell, all that good stuff. Thank you all for watching. I've been Boomstick, and I'm out.